Hello, my boos. What's up? What's up? What's up? So, you guys know I'm just going to go ahead and chat it up real fast and just talk about a situation that took place on June 27th. So, I don't know if you guys know. If you don't, guys don't know. But here in New Orleans, June 27th, a shooting happened where a young man, African American, shot and killed his girlfriend he was 32 and she was 48 shot and killed her in broad daylight now the reason that i want to come touch base and talk about it is because this i look at things from all four corners i look at things from all parties women if a man touch you why would you stay they've had many occasions where the police been out for domestic violence the universe had gave her plenty of chances to leave what he did to her was it right? No. But the universe gave her plenty of chances to leave and she still stayed. That's one. 2020, they got a drug charge together. Remind you, he was a known drug dealer. You could have left then. You still chose to stay. Nine times out of ten, what probably happened was, and what happens a lot of times is these older women meet these younger guys and they think it's oh so cute to have a younger guy. They don't work, they're out here in the streets, that's hustling. Wearing his pants below his ass. She, you 48, 50, dating this young boy, and you think that's cute. He probably disrespectful as fuck. She pro and it happens a lot here in New Orleans. She probably started burning candles on him because he probably told her he didn't want her no more so he probably started burning candles on him and one thing about it is when you start burning candles you got to know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing don't go dibbing and dabbing in no shit that you don't know about Just because you watch Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and all that other shit, if you don't know about it, don't go dibbing and dabbing in it. If you haven't talked to a mambo, don't go dibbing and dabbing in something that you don't know about. Because... You burning a candle that you know nothing about could easily fuck up somebody or fuck you up. A candle alone, just a candle alone could easily fuck up somebody or fuck you up. And what happens is when... People are burning candles for love or to get that person to stay with them. Nine times out of ten, if I'm the person that's burning candles to get you to stay with me, I'm going to get tired of you. I don't want you no more. I'm the person that's burning candles on you, so I'm tired of you and I don't want you no more. Now that's fucking with your mental. You don't, like, you throw because you, you know that in the beginning, you didn't want me, but all of a sudden, you just feel, you got so 
attached to me. Like, you you don't really love me, but you just attached to me. You don't know why. But now I'm acting, I'm acting weird with you. That's going to make you click. You guys, everything has a reaction, whether it's good or whether it's bad. When you guys are playing in spiritual shit and you don't know nothing about it, that shit can come back on you. If you don't know nothing about it, it can come back on you. Even if you do, you're trying to get someone to stay with you. Eventually, you're going to get tired of that person. Think about how that person is going to react. You think that person, you, you going to burn all these candles. That person don't know you burning candles. You think it, you think the person just going to walk away. Think about what you've been doing. To get that person to be attached to you. Like I tell you, I like to look at things, the whole scenario. I like to look at everything. And that's how I am. And that's, this, is, this is what goes on with a lot of women. If a man tell you he doesn't want you, he doesn't want you. Leave and go on about your business. There's no need for you to cry, stay. If a woman tells you, men, that she don't want you, it ain't no need for you to get mad, pull out a gun, do, go on about your business. If a man gonna cheat it on you, women, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 times. Sis, what you still there for? Why? You don't value yourself. You don't have no respect for yourself. Because once a man cheat on me one time, that's it. Bye. You're not going to cheat on me two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. No, sir. I value me. You're not going to bring me back no STD. You're not going to bring me back chameleon. You're not going to bring me back the claps. You're not going to bring me back trichomonia. You're not going to bring me back none of those. No, 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 no. And you're most definitely not going to bring me back no HIV or AIDS. No amount of money. No amount of materialistic shit. No amount of love that I feel like I would need from a man that can make me stay with a man and deal with disrespect and unloyalty. And that's for a man too. If a woman is doing that to you and you stand, you need to go. If you're staying with someone and they're going to cheat on you more than two and more than three times, baby, you need to be picking up the phone calling a counselor. Because at this point, something is mentally wrong with you. Not physically, but mentally. You need some type of mental help. Because I, I'm not staying with nobody that cheats on me just because they pay my bills or just because they pay my car payment or just, no. I value my life too much to deal with some type of bullshit from any man. And women, you should value yourself enough to deal, to not deal with any type of bullshit from any man. Men, you should value yourself enough to not deal with any type of bullshit from a woman. And that's on Big Pure and Big Period. Y'all be sitting around in these fake, unhappy, miserable ass relationships. Y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all be at the same house. He and he end up playing the video game. You in the room, no communication, no nothing. I refuse to be with anybody and live like that. 
I refuse to be with anybody and not go nowhere. And then y'all just be trying to hold on to dead weight. Let that shit go. Baby, I ain't holding on to nothing. Baby, even if you did want to be kept, and if, if I ain't happy, bye, you got to go. If I ain't happy, you got to go. <laughs> If you, ain't making, if you ain't making me happy, you most definitely gotta go. And it don't take a lot to make me happy. So if you feeling to make me happy, baby, you got to go. Y'all just be holding on to dead weight. Just to say y'all got somebody. Just to say, oh, I've been with him since the 8th grade. I've been with him since high school. Girl, you've been with him since high school and you still miserable. Boy, you've been with her since high school and you still miserable. Girl, you've been with him since how old? Since she was 18? And he gonna cheat it on you how many times? And you still there like a dumbass? You the big fool. You the big fool, sis. You the big dodo head. Y'all the big fools, and then y'all be trying to run and. When shit go wrong with y'all relationship, y'all be trying to get into all this. Oh, I'm going to start doing spiritual this and that and don't know shit about it. Now y'all want to go get candles and burn candles and don't know shit about it. Because you, cause you, your relationship been fucked up. Your relationship been fucked up. You should have been burning a candle... To, to make that bitch leave. Burn a bitch, bitch be gone candle. <laughs> bitch, bitch get out my way candle. To make that nigga leave. So what you, what you holding on to? Y'all gotta wake up and know y'all were. If y'all don't wake up, women and men, if y'all don't wake up and know y'all worth, y'all gonna end up dead. A man gonna end up killing you. A woman gonna end up killing you. Or you gonna, or you gonna die of stress. And baby, I ain't, I ain't trying to let no fuck nigga take me out. And I damn sure ain't. One thing I would not be dying of is stress. Ho! Oh. <laughs> I don't stress about nothing. Not me. I won't be dying of stress, baby. Mm -mm. It won't be that. Y'all, for real, wake up, love yourself, and value yourself to know when enough is enough. And walk away and chuck up the deuces. It was good while it lasted, baby. I love you. I had some good times. We recreated some good memories. Baby, I go through my phone and look at the pictures. I smile. I cry. I miss you, and that's that. When enough is enough, enough is enough. Y'all stop trying to hold on. Stop trying to hold on to a dead horse that's heavy as fuck. For you end up in a fucked up situation. For you end up six feet on the ground, and now you got kids that got to mourn. You got your family that got to mourn. And you got this Negro over here that's for to go do life in prison. Oh yeah, you you sit feet on the ground, and then you got this be, this bitch over here that's finna go do prison. This girl that's finna go do prison time. Life, it don't be worth it. It do not be worth it, my G's. It don't be worth it. It don't be worth it. Mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, it don't be worth it. Take it from me. It don't be worth it. It do not be worth it. Walk away. If you have to act out, it's not worth it. Walk away. Walk away. My last relationship, I love my last relationship. But guess what? I had to walk away. When I picked up my gun and I hit that motherfucking unlock and I took it off safety and I shot. I had to think about that. 
I shot clean through a car. I shot clean through a car, y'all. I could have killed him. Had I killed him, guess where I'd be at? Y'all wouldn't be looking at no mocha safari. I have a mug shot. I have a mug shot already. I have a couple of mug shots. But I'm talking about I have a real mug shot this time. Like a prison mug shot. Not no jail mug shot. A mug shot with me going to lay down for life. I shot clean through the car. And had I killed him. Y'all, that shit don't be worth it. That toxic shit don't be worth it. That toxic relationship shit don't be worth it. That shit don't be worth it. Get the fuck up and go. You're doing no good. <laughs> and find peace within yourself. The best thing I ever did, baby, was realize I love me more than I love you. And I'm so at peace right now. A nigga can't even say hello to me. I be like, what? I got my own car. I pay my own bills. I do. I buy my. I, I do this. I do this. I do. What you talking to me for? No, I don't want your number. No, you can't. Have, oh, bitch, I act real bossy and bossy. You hear me? That's the type of peace y'all need. Find that peace, okay? Anyway, y'all know what's up. It is what it is. And I love y'all. Peace.